here at the NCAA tournament at Michigan State Athletic Director Mark Hollis joining us. Uh, you got a little bit of different role here. You're not you got to take the Michigan State hat off. It really is. This is a week uh, that I'm training for the NCAA Men's Basketball Committee and pre-selected to come to Columbus and then our team landed here so it makes for uh, an unusual circumstance but uh, at the same time I'll be going back and forth when the Spartans are playing uh, I'll be all green and white otherwise I'm wearing the uh, the NSU or uh, North NCAA colors. So when you're watching the selection show with the team last week uh, there's a little bit of excitement <laughs> stirring every year but was there a little bit of kind of notion that you wanted to get that Columbus set? Are you watching closely there? Well I already knew I was coming to Columbus yeah, so yeah. Uh, now you know the rest of the team are tagging along which is uh, is great and uh, you know it makes for a good situation uh, you know for me I've, I've been the training process is really an opportunity for those that haven't been part of the NCAA tournament to learn you know what to do throughout the the week and of course we've been to six final fours I think so I've got the uh, I've got it down pretty good I know what open practices are I know what the media conferences are like and uh, you know at the same time it's a good opportunity to hang out with the uh, NCAA staff and Joe Castiglione who's on the committee from uh, Oklahoma Knowing what goes down here is, is what makes Draymond Green so successful. He, he's been through the ropes here. But for a lot of this Michigan State team, a lot of them are younger players, new, and, and this environment to them is something they haven't experienced. What do you expect from this team on this stage with that number one seed on their shoulders? Well, I think the uh, Big Ten tournament um, has a lot to do with, with the success that I, I foresee happening. I think Coach Izzo knows uh, what it takes to get to uh, to New Orleans, and the players believe in him, and it's, it's a unique team in that um, – they really blend together. There's no uh, dominating force that really uh, detracts uh, from the positives that we're trying to accomplish. So I think the guys are going to listen to Draymond. They're going to listen to, to Izzo and, and have trust and belief, and they know what it takes to get there, and hopefully they'll all respond. When you look at what Draymond's accomplished and just the kind of way I think everyone perceives him starting with, with, with Tom Izzo and just the way he's spoken so highly about him since day one, how does he rank? Uh, it's tough to put him up there with the Magics and the team, <laughs> but Tom's done so. I mean, in your eyes, where do you, where does he rank in the all-time Michigan State grades? Well, I, I kind of evaluate student athletes both on and off uh, the court, and I think off the court he's one of the best, if not the best, um, that we have. He represents Michigan State, whether he's with CEOs or, or young children, in unbelievable ways. And Magic is very much the same way as is Mateen. So, you know, I put him right there in that group. I think on the court. Um, from my perspective, nobody will ever match Magic. Um, I don't care if it's Michigan State or anywhere else. He's the best of the best. Um, but, but Draymond's right there. He has the ability to play several different roles on the court. He can go inside, play on the block. He can bring the ball up the court and um, has unique talents that way. So it's, uh, it's fun to watch him, and, and you feel more connected to him, I think, because of what he does off the court. How easy does it then make it for you to come into the office every day and just to do your job and to speak about Michigan State and to kind of sell people on the programs and the university when you've got athletes like that on the, on the forefront of what Spartan basketball and Spartan athletics are all about? It's, I mean, it's been great. And we've got so many examples. Kirk Cousins in football yeah. is one. Uh, Tori Krug in, in hockey is another great example. There are three, three leaders that, um, you know, you'd be proud to, to almost go anywhere with them. So it's... Uh, it's good to have kids like that represent, but there's so many others like that at Michigan State and, and all the different sports. How about just the success, I guess, of Michigan State Athletics at this point? I mean, it's at near the pinnacle of where you can be. How proud are you of where everything's at right now? I think when you're an athletic director or a coach, you really don't take enough time to think about that success. Yeah. You're always looking at what can you do to get a little bit better, and you're always looking at the next thing. Um, but the accomplishments of, you know, Jake Boss in baseball, of Coach Izzo, obviously, uh, Coach D in football, you, you just look back through all the, the success. It is remarkable given the, the resources that we have to work with. Um, you know, it's a great, great institution, and I think we feed off each other, and that's, that's the value of Michigan State. Every coach helps every other coach, and, you know, we win or we lose together. That's the beauty of Michigan State. Well, maybe as this thing continues to go on a few weeks from now, you'll have time to soak in that <laughs> next memory. So, Mark Hollis, thanks. thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank thanks. you. Yep.